Hey there everyone, it's Becky with the Dorky Thrifters and as promised here comes another what sold on eBay video for the series or playlist. Um, so I'm trying to get caught up. I'm really behind. I'm still back in March. So this is the first half of March. Um, some of my sales from the 1st through the 15th of March. So for this two week period, these items cost me about 80 one dollars they sold for seven hundred and six dollars and twenty one cents uh, my shipping and handling that i collected was 164 dollars after ebay fees was actually like 144 dollars um, the shipping cost labels was 128 dollars the late the actual label cost so i actually made a little bit of money on shipping with these items here um, I came out ahead about $5.87, so that's pretty good. Um, eBay fees were $70, Bonanza fees were $13.74, and PayPal fees were $31. So my overall profit was $535, um, and this is for 19 sales. First up, okay, so this is a... It was actually three of them that I sold together. So somebody contacted me. I had them listed for $13 each. They offered me $10 each for all three. So I said yes. I paid a dollar each for them. And they sold for $10 each. They had these little babies on them. They were actually kind of cute. But I love finding these pre-pasted packages of wallpaper borders. Especially if I can find like more than one in the same pattern because then they're, they're really easy to list. They don't take up very much room. They're pretty easy to ship. So I like doing these. Um, I've had pretty good luck with them on these three here. So I said I paid a dollar each for them. They sold for $10 each plus shipping. So my profit was $24 and 73 cents after all fees and costs and everything. So definitely profitable. Um, like I said, easy to list, easy to store. All right, so here is another electric typewriter. This is another Smith Corona SL470. Um, this is the second one of these exactly like this that I've sold. This one I paid $3.50 for at the Goodwill. It worked perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, I think it had one minor little crack in the back. A little piece of the plastic missing or something, but... Um, it sold for $29.95 plus shipping, so my profit after everything was $19.91. Okay, so this is a salt and pepper set. Looks a little funny in that first picture, but that's a salt and pepper shake, shaker set by Royalon. You can kind of see that. Royalon. <laughs> they were kind of a lavender and white, very unique shape and everything. Um... I paid a dollar for these. They sold for $14.95 plus shipping, so my profit was $11.45. Okay, this is a 1990 picture Bible. But it's a it's like a comic book Bible. So I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $20, and my overall profit was $17.32. All right, so this is something that Aaron found. He actually found two of these, so or there was three of them all together, but two of them sold within just a couple days of each other. Um, so I'm going to show you both of those right now. This is Cra Crabtree and Evelyn, like perfumes, body sprays. Um, this one, I mean, you can kind of see that, but it was almost full. The line's right there. It's kind of hard to see, but... And they smelt really good. I still had a real nice strong scent. Um, he paid $5 for this one. And it sold for $44.95. So after all fees and everything, I profited $35.58 on that one. And then this one he paid $6 for. Um, this one is called Sarawak. Right there. And... Um, this one sold for $60, so after all the fees and everything, I made $49.26. So those were pretty cool. 
Let's see, here is a pair of IZOD prescription eyeglasses. These I paid $2 for, and they sold for $30, so my profit was $22.95. Right, I actually had two of these that I found at the Goodwill, and they were used, but they both were in the box, and they were both in really nice condition. Um, so I just cleaned them up a little bit, and... I purchased these for $9 each, and they sold for $38 each, so my profit on each one was $22.39. Air purifiers. Always look at air purifiers because I've made some really good money on air purifiers. Um, this one is a Canon selfie printer. So this I bought for $6. It worked. Everything was fine. had like a digital screen on it kind of cute. I had never seen anything like this before, but it had like cartridges that you put in it for the ink and the film, I guess. And whatever. I made some money on it. So I paid $6 for it. It sold for 50 plus shipping. So I made $36.24. Not bad for a silly little printer. Okay, this is more wallpaper borders. So this one I just put in a lot of eight of them. Eight rolls for $25 plus shipping. They sold. I paid $3 for all of them. So they were all in a bag together. And so I paid $3 for the bag. Um, they sold for $25 and I made $17.27. This is a footstool and it did have storage. So the the top opened up for storage underneath. So this one I paid $6 for at the thrift store and it sold for $38 plus shipping. So my profit was $25.20. It had kind of a tapestry top. All right, here's another pair of those crazy hingeless silhouette frames. I love finding these. As you probably know if you've watched any of my videos. Here's another pair. They, I paid $2.35 for these. They sold for $60. So my profit was $50.08. And I can't really... I can kind of see the name there. I can see it better there. Silhouette. That's what it looks like. Okay, Nine West. So this is a pair of Nine West um, girls' frames. These I paid $3 for, and they sold for $30, so my profit was $22.95. Here is a scrub top that has bulldogs on motorcycles. So of course that would sell, right? <laughs> so that one I paid $3 for at the thrift store. So yeah, I paid $3 for this at the thrift store. It sold for $23.95 plus shipping, so my profit was $20.73. This is a pair of vintage Versalis prescription eyeglass frames. Aren't those the funkiest things? I just think they're so cool. Um, so these I paid $2 for, and those sold for $30. So my profit was... $25.10. And then this is my last eBay sale that I'm going to show you. These are Prada eyeglass frames. These I paid $2.67 for. They sold for $70. And I made a profit of $58.54. And I did find these at a thrift store. Okay, so moving on to Bonanza. If you don't know about Bonanza or you want to learn more about Bonanza, I have a video about it somewhere on my channel um, devoted to Bonanza, and you can use my referral link if you do to decide to sign up, and that will help me out. So I appreciate that if you can do that if you're interested in getting a Bonanza booth. They are free. It's pretty simple. It's pretty cool, actually, because if you already have listings on eBay, um, Etsy, I think it's 
Shopify or something like that. Anyways, it imports it automatically. It's really neat. Check out my other video for more information about that. Okay, so this is a pair of um, Ferroflex eyeglasses, prescription eyeglasses that sold on Bonanza. They sold for $34.05 on sale, and I paid $3 for them, so my profit was $23.47. And then last but not least, this is another wallpaper border sale. So you can see that. Um, I found these really cool Route 66 pattern wallpaper borders, and there was three of them. And I paid $2 each for those. They sold for $40 for all of them. Somebody just bought them all. So my profit was $29.89. So definitely keep a lookout for these wallpaper borders. They are pretty good little sellers. Okay guys, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up and get it posted like I promised. And I'll have another one coming out hopefully within a day or two. So thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. And take care.